Man, we tap in with my boy Lil Mario, man. Go ahead and let these folks know who you are. Shit, I'm Lil Mario from Palm Bluff, shit. What's that mean? Most definitely, man. We had to go and, you know, pull up on you. I see you turning up on, you know, on social media and shit. Trying to, anyway. Most definitely, man. You mentioned you from, you know, you from the bluff, man. You know, I done tapped in with a couple people from the bluff, man. But, you know, go ahead and I want to hear your side of the story, you know. Like, you know, how was it growing up in your city? Shit. It's really what you make it, shit. If you choose to do positive shit, you will be on a positive influence. But if you... Surround yourself by negative shit, you become that. But shit, like me growing up, I pretty much grew up like in the shit. So people might not have been on something with me, but they have been on something with somebody I'm related to and probably try to get at me. So I just had to think two moves ahead of everybody and shit. Most definitely, man. So you know, like, you know, how old are you? Shit, I just turned 18. 18? Real talk. So. So would you, you say you, it's like, you ain't really just had no, you know, direct, you know, nothing like that with your, you know, with you, but you know, it's just like the people you around. No, nah, yeah, I had, I'm saying like, you said growing up, like, that's how it started with me from people I was around, like, niggas might have done something to the people I'm around, or the people I'm around might have done something to them, and to get at them, they probably do something to me, but I done had a lot of little altercations and shit with people, but one no major shit. Most definitely, man. So, you know, what made you, you know, turn to the mic? Shit. Really, bro, people just started making music. Talking about my homeboys and me and shit. I started making music. Then I really started off freestyling, but people used to tell me I could rap and shit. So, I just, that's what really happened. But it really was some territory shit. They rap, make a song about us. We rap, make a song about them. And, Shit, one of the little niggas doing it around me, so shit, I just start doing it. But I ain't just, I don't know this and shit or nothing, but shit, that's what it was. Most definitely. So, you know, how long would you say you been actually taking it serious? You know, you mentioned you started out freestyling. Shit, I started taking it serious really this year when I went to South by Southwest and met a couple people. Okay, you mentioned, you meant, you you know, you made a, made a move and went to South by Southwest. You know, how was that experience for you? Shit, it's different. It, shit, I, I, it really made me set a goal. Like, I was running up to famous people at South by Southwest this year. Next year, I'm trying to get them running up to me. Real talk. So, you know, did you did you get a chance to network with a couple people, lock in with people, or was you just there, you know, like for the experience, you know, just see what's going on? I was there for the experience, but I made a song up there with um, a nigga. He like, he know, I mean, I made a song with a nigga up there. He know O and B P's and shit. He was like, "That's his home, boy." But that's far. That's it. But the nigga I made the song with from South by Southwest, I made the song with him down here. We're talk so yeah, he came to Arkansas. Yeah, well, really, he came to Jacksonville. Okay, most definitely, y'all yeah. went to Tank. Yeah. And you know, since we talking about studios, you know where you know where you recorded. Shit, Big J the man. Big J the man, where he located it? This is my first time here. Huh? Palm Bluff on the east side, shit. Tap in with him. That's what make all my beats. It be cold, bro. It's so really, we really a team right now. Real talk, you mentioned the team. Like, you know, what all do it consist of? You mentioned Big J, and other than you, you know, like. Um, I'm working with an um, old cat named Flip. Like, shit, he really taking chances with me. Like, he's, he pay for like he pay for my studio time and shit. I'm just trying to shit, get, help him get back. He believe in me and shit. I appreciate him for that. That's real. And you know, out of you know, out of your clique, out of all your homeboys, is it just you making music or you know? Nah, shit. My cousin Nick make music. Young Eastside make music. Shit, that's about it, really. Oh, was just man. So Nick with the K, your family, your people. Yeah. Tap in with Nick with the K, man. He got some hard shit, bro. So you just dropped a new single. What they call like real trenches? Yeah, I just dropped the real trenches a video on YouTube. Go check that out, Lil Mario. The real trenches. Who shot it for you? Shit, 4K Kurt. He from up here. Folk, tap in with 4K Kurt, man. Straight up. So you, you been moving around in Lil Rock for how long? Shit, really, just this year, really. Yeah. Straight up. Straight up. So what else can we look forward to? Shit. You ain't dropping uh -huh. no projects or nothing. 
Now I just dropped a little song called Mac Nine about my cousin. Shit, some shit he had going on with a nigga. I made a little song about that, but shit. I'm supposed to be going to Memphis and shooting a little vlog. Shit, in October, I'm going to the Act 3 and the A and shit. I gotta, I'm gonna drop a couple more songs. And vid I got a video coming called Going Through Some Things and shit. Real song. Real talk. And, and, you know, you mentioned in a lot of, you know, a lot of, you know, it may not seem like much to other people, but you mentioned a lot of, you know, it's like you got stuff well thought out and planned out. So, would you say, like, you been putting together everything for us, the business side of it? Like, how, how did that come about? Like, Shit, like, really, this how I started, I ain't gonna lie, bro, like, I used to go to Big J and shit, and just record and go home, but shit, one day, I made a song, um, I made a song, bro, and he introduced me to the nigga Flip, I'm telling y'all about who paid for my shit, and shit, Flip, like, they got to telling me, like, shit, I'm bigger than just making a song and go home, like, talk. they believe in me, so shit, that kind of motivated me, like, Cause I see if he willing to pay all his money just for me to record, shit, at least I can do is take the shit serious. So shit, after that, everything that go on, shit, I used to just post my songs on YouTube and just that. But now everything is like playing, like I'm the artist, whatever they got planned for me, shit, that's what it's gonna be. I'm gonna talk. I believe in them, they believe in me, shit. We're talking. So would you say they make, you know, I wouldn't say easier, but would you say they make everything, you know, run pretty, you know, much smooth? Yeah, it take a lot of stress out of me thinking about how I'm going to pay for this and what I need to do. Because, shit, like I said, I'm, I just turned 18. I'm trying to get the business side on. No, I'm, I just grew, I'm grew up on the east side, shit. Talk, we son. just be doing crazy and shit. Bro. So, you know, what what's your outlook on music, though? Like, is that, like, you know, you mentioned why you started it, but, like, are you starting to see it as a way out now? Like, are you, like... Yeah, shit. See, I don't really look at it as a way out because I used to do that and they put more stress on me. Like, because she's like, what if? It's like, she, yeah, what right. right. If I look at it as a way out, I just look at it like, damn, if I don't make it out, then what? I just really look at it like as a talent, as an option. Shit. If it happened that way, that's how it happened. But if it don't, shit, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and make music. Because I don't make music just for a way out. I make it to express how I'm feeling or how I address the situation or what I'm going through. Like, Most definitely. Because, like, I ain't just the type of nigga to call you, like, shit, if I need something, I ain't just finna call you and tell you, cuz, damn, I'm down bad, I need this. I just make a song about it and try to make what, what make some shape. It's real, though. You know, like growing up, you know what? You know what? What artists would you say influence you? You know, like growing up, who's some artists you grew up listening to? See, a rapper that really influenced me was like Lil Boosie and Zero. No, most definitely. And you know, out of out of everybody, you know, why would you pick them two? You know, that's kind of like a common, you know, Boosie and Zero, like common for the South. But like, why would you say you you picked them? Shit, I picked Zero because shit, like. That was my daddy bumped and all his homeboys, so like I looked at them like some old heads. So if I want to see the game as an old head, I listen to Zero because he had a lot of shit and was talking about a lot of shit. And I just choose Boosie because that's what I grew up on. And plus, he got a song for every emotion you have. Shit. He got a song for it. Most definitely. So you know, how would you describe the music that you make? Like most of pain or like you mentioned, you want people to you know. You just, you know, expressing how you feel, but, you know, how would you, what category, category would you put it in? Shit. Well, like, my shit really like a movie. Yeah. Everything I talk about be facts. Like, it's what I go through and somebody can vouch for it. Real talk. And you mentioned everything you talk about be facts, you know. Well, you know, it's been a problem in the in the industry today, not just the industry, but local artists, you know, most no most niggas that rap, you know, they just be, you know, just looking at it as shit, this shit sound good on the beat type shit. You know, how do you feel about that? Like, you know, rappers that don't really, you know, just doing shit just to do it. Shit, like, if they just doing it just to doing it, I don't really, I ain't gonna say it's some bullshit, but I ain't gonna tap in with it because I don't ever know how they feel about music. But like I like hearing shit that means something like even if it ain't about you, like if, if shit if you make a song about him, if it means something, I'ma tap in with it. Yeah, 
talk. Cause I might got a homeboy that's going through the same shit your homeboy going through. But if a nigga just talking about some crazy ass shit, like I don't wanna hear it. It's real though. And you know, moving around Arkansas, you know, are you tapped in with any artists, you know, out from your city and just the state as a whole? Shit, I done tapped in with um Eastside, y'all know Eastside. I done tapped in with a nigga named Dunn. His name the Dunn Solo on Facebook. Tap in with him, bro. He cool with people. I done tap I done tapped in with um I done tapped in with a couple people, bro. I just really don't know their name off the bat. Real talk. Yup. Most definitely. I know I tapped in with some cat in all time, bro. Then, um, now I'm starting to tap in with, um, my nigga Bear Boogie and them. They from Dermont. Tap in with them, bro. They real niggas. Most definitely, man. And you... Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I had reached out to C-Mad and shit on Instagram. I hit them up. And gave him my number. He hit me the next morning. I sent him a clip to my video, The Real Trenches. See, he wanted me to come perform on the set on July 27th. Shit, I'm going to be up there, see. Tap in with that, bro. Tap What's in that? with C, man, so, on Instagram. So, you know, have you, have you been doing any other shows or just like one of your first ones? I done did two shows, bro. I did one at the city cabin before. But I ain't going to lie, that was really some bullshit. And I did, I done, um... I done one for some kids, bro. Like, it was for my kids. I ain't just really done no real show yet, though. Most definitely, man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, looking, you know, looking, looking at the state, you know, do you feel like we got a chance to, you know, actually pop, you know, with this music shit, though? Like, yeah, shit. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't looking right now. Shit, like, every, my, like, Brian, like, my whole city right now turned. The whole city, bro. Everybody turned, bro. Everybody got something going. My people, they doing their thing. They, the other people across town doing their thing. Like the whole city turn right now, bro. Real talk, and you know, like, would you say what happened in the past? You know, kind of fueled up. You know, the all the talent and shit that's down there started. It, you know, it 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 bring bring it the best of both worlds out. Yeah, most definitely. Like, shit, it was people from the other side cool with some of us, but shit, like. It's just a lot of shit. Like, really, bro, really a lot of us just jumped in some shit we don't know about and just claiming the side. Real talk. When really, when everybody could have just stayed where they belong and shit, this shit probably could have been, I ain't gonna never say it could be squats because people have died for this shit, bro. Like, niggas real deal died for this shit. But it can probably be, it can, it can, it won't be, it won't be as vicious as it is now because, like, People done died in the past and they got niggas who don't know why they in the shit or why they even slide killing niggas that, you know, that's up to date and shit. So, but shit, if everybody would have just been in their own lane, I believe shit would have been a little better. We're gonna talk, man. It's true, We tapped in my boy Lamar. Yo, y'all go tap in. We plotting on them, hit they block, we dropping some. We hiking on them, they hate my thing, stopping nothing. NBF, you know that be the title, homie. Me and Savage, we just thugging on our fucking lonely. NBF, you see it on the Glock, little nigga. If you want smoke, I grab the game, we hitting the block on niggas. JoJo gone, lonely three free top of nigga. I want them dead, no, I can't stop, so I'm straight dropping niggas. This shit can get wicked. In the minute of the day, we spinning. They say they gon' get me, so I'm in the city, I'm round with a glizzy. These niggas, they bitches. I know how they move when I stay on my pivot. That little nigga went live. I want to go kill him, but he had a witness. That little nigga tripping. He talking about money, he gotta be kidding. And Nick the plug now. We got so much green for the trail for Christmas. And I want a million, so I'm backsliding and I'm back in the trenches. And I'm on a mission. In the name of three, I swear to God, I'ma finish him. And I've been the sickest. I'm 18 and the streets got an image for me. Anybody can get it. The streets talking, running around, I split a nigga. You know.